Years ago, while on the floor, we would get a certain order type that went something like this. Buy 10 December live cattle, 75, 72 and a half, DRT plus or minus five cents. The unique part of the order was the DRT. It gave discretion to the filling broker to fill the order plus or minus five cents around the price. Discretion back then usually worked in favor of the person placing the order. Nowadays, however, discretion has more of a negative connotation. We hear in the media and through our friends that there are a lot of people that want to become a non-discretionary trader. They want a fully systematic, automated approach to trading. CQG has a bevy of products, or we might call modules, that you can use to take a conceptual idea, put it onto the chart, and then analytically look at this idea. Is it got credence for an entry signal to take it into backtesting? Once it's in backtesting, then we're gonna optimize it. We're gonna take it out to Excel, and we're gonna look at the heat map and see where the parameters are. And if you want to, then you can bring it all the way back into an automated fashion to where you now can just flip a switch in the morning and let the trading system go. Our first step involves creating potential long and short entries. I've opened up the Define User Formula window, and along with the Formula Toolbox, I've created a long and short condition. I've also parameterized them. And finally, on the chart, you can see the green and red arrows indicating where they line up to the underlying studies. Next, we will take our conditions out to Signal Evaluator. I've loaded up the two conditions at the top. It will be tested on the crude market from February 1st to April 12th on a two-minute continuation chart. After the run, there are 144 longs and shorts. Graphically, it shows that seven bars out is a good exit point. This is our profit curve, again, seven bars out, and a bell curve distribution. In step three, we take our conditions and create a trading system. I call this one Triple T. Our condition is our entry point. We're in at the close. Our exits are a dollar stop loss, a dollar profit objective, and an end of day flag. Currently, we are along the crude market at 84.42. Our stop loss is at 84.22. This is from February 1st until current, and the statistical results are at the bottom of the chart. Coming off our back testing, we're now going to take a look at the different parameter sets in our CQG optimizer. We have four parameters here, which has yielded 2,025 iterations or steps. If we take a look at the results, our best set of parameters are at the top, yielding $16,320, which is roughly three times the amount that our back testing showed at $5,500. Our final step in analysis involves taking the parameter sets out of the CQG optimizer and into Excel to show off a heat map. The y-axis shows two of the parameters, while the x-axis shows the other two parameters. In the lower left-hand quadrant of the chart, you can see the hot spots, and of course the corresponding areas that lose money. So we end off with a view of my typical trading day, which consists of turning on trade systems before the markets open, viewing the trade results in CQG's orders and positions window, and looking at a number of charts with their corresponding trade systems. On our website, we have a number of third-party vendors which specialize in algorithmic trading solutions. In addition, we have a number of semi-automated modules in CQG. To get more information, please call 1-800-525-1085. It's taken me a number of years to find out that I'm not a good discretionary trader. CQG has been very instrumental in helping me automate my day-to-day -day routine to where now I see positive results. I'm sure if traders take the time to look into the powerful automation that CQG offers, that they will certainly agree with me.